Yo! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Dasky here with another Crusher Cars gameplay. Now, we have finally done it. We have finally figured out how to unlock the new hidden car. And let me tell you, this is by far probably the most difficult hidden car to have actually found how to unlock. And the reason for this is because to unlock this hidden car, you actually need to perform steps on different maps in order to unlock it. So it's not like the hidden car is only found on the one map. You need to perform steps on multiple maps in order to unlock it. Now before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to a few people who were mainly involved in helping out how to find this hidden car. I firstly want to give a shout out to Felipe for being able to find the first satellite dish, which I'll explain in a minute. For Chris Marac for finding the second, the third and the fourth satellite dish. And I also want to give a special shout out to M. Ali, who is actually the first person to be able to unlock this hidden car after following all the steps. He also has a YouTube channel, I'm going to link it down in the description below. And I'm also going to link a good friend of mine, Dan S's YouTube channel, down in the description of this video, who posted a video on also how to unlock this hidden car. But nonetheless, getting back straight into the video, what we're going to need to do firstly to unlock this hidden car is we're going to need to use a specific car. So the car that we're going to want to use is, I'll go ahead and show you, so I'm going to scroll down go into the common sections and it's actually the lunar rover which was the hidden car unlocked on the moon map now if you haven't unlocked the lunar rover i'll go ahead and link my video on how to unlock this on the moon map down in the description as well that way you can go ahead and check it out and unlock it so you can unlock this new hidden car so what we're going to need to do to unlock this hidden car is we're going to need to play certain maps and we're going to need to discover certain satellite dishes on these maps so the first satellite dish is just in this area, so I'm going to drive around and you're going to be able to hear like a beeping, a pinging noise type of thing. And it's just where this tree is, if you just drive around slowly, slam the brakes a bit, you're going to be able to hear this noise. You're going to need to stay in the same spot for a couple of seconds and then a satellite dish will appear like you just saw there. And this thing is pretty much, it's always going to stay there, it's invincible, you're never going to be able to destroy it. And it just stays there, notifying you that you're doing the correct steps in order to unlock this new hidden car. So the first satellite dish that you're going to need to find is on the water park map. And that's the location it is for, I believe, most players. The second satellite dish can be found on the gorge map. So my gorge map wasn't in rotation at the moment, so I went ahead and joined the private match. So that's what you can do if you want to get this hidden car quickly and you don't need to wait for the rotation. So the second satellite dish is up in this area here. Now if you pay attention to the lunar rover, you're also going to notice that there's a red square and it turns green once a satellite dish appears. Now this square will also indicate to you if you're not playing with sound on that you're in the right location. So just like on the water park map, the satellite dish will appear and you will know that you've got it on the correct spot on the gorge map. Jumping into the third map, this one is on Fortune Harbour. So you're just going to go ahead, drive down, and it's in between those two rampy areas. And you're just going to stay in this area here, reverse back and forth, try and stay in the same spot. And then the satellite dish will appear here. On this example, you couldn't really see that red square I was talking about because my car was facing the opposite way of the screen. So you couldn't really see it too well. But there's a satellite dish right there, and that's how you get it on the Fortune Harbour map. Jumping into the fourth map, it's on the jungle map here. So we're going to need to go ahead and drive on top of the mountain area in the center of the map. So I'm just going to go ahead and drive there, pick up a few power-ups and just shoot them along the way. And it's just over by this tree at the top. So we're going to go around here, just play around in this area until you hear the noise and until you see the red square appear on your screen on the Lunar Rover. So there you can see the red screen, which is what I'm talking about. And then it turned green and then the satellite dish did appear. So just make sure you're slamming the brakes on and off and trying to stay as still as possible. That way you can stay in the same area for a certain amount of time for the satellite dish to appear. Now the next satellite dish is found on the narrow map and it's pretty much on the opposite side of the map that I just spawned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive over there right now. So once you get to this area, it's just in this little sand pit area type of thing and you just go back and forth and as you just saw the satellite dish did appear. This one I got pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the exact same location if not a very very similar position for all players. So just know that you can go to these same spots that I'm going to and it should appear. Otherwise just play around with the sound and make sure you can focus on that red square as well to see if it turns green. That way you know that you're in the right spot. 
Now moving on to the last location. This is actually on the desert map. So we're gonna need to go ahead and drive along this back edge of the map. And it's just near where that ramp is to get onto the main section of the map. So if we just drive around this area, now you can see the red screen. I accidentally fiddled around with my fingers, but I still managed to stay in the same area. And there you go, the satellite dish did appear. So when you're doing this, you gotta make sure that you're staying still in the same area. You can't just drive over for one second. You gotta be there for at least three to four seconds until it appears. And once it appears, you can go ahead and just leave the match and it's always gonna be there. And then you can just move on to the next map. So now moving on to the very last stage of this map, it's actually on the moon map. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into the moon map here and I'm gonna be driving now. And we wanna go towards the satellite dish on the far edge of the map. So now that we're at the satellite dish, you just wanna chill here for a bit. You're gonna see the red light and then the green light. And there we go. Here is the new hidden star man's car. It looks absolutely awesome, an absolutely cool animation sequence before you unlock the hidden car. And there you go, it's like a space car type of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the car a bit more, but it looks absolutely awesome. And while we're talking about the animation, I want everyone down in the comment section below to tell me their favorite hidden car animation sequence. Mine is probably either this car's one, the phantom car that we unlocked on the mansion map, or even probably the Royal Wagon, which we just unlocked on the castle map in the last update. But be sure to tell me your favorite one down in the comment section. And now we can see the Starman's car just spinning around. The back of the car has that blue type of plasma spinning around the engine, which looks absolutely awesome. It's got that very space feel type of car. And now I'm just playing around with the skins on the car, trying to figure out which one looks the coolest and suits the blue plasma on the back of the car the best. Now I'm gonna go ahead and post a gameplay with this new hidden car. So I also want you to tell me down in the comment section below which skin you think looks the best and I'll use a skin that has the most recommendations down in the comment section. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And for now, Dasky out.